Pinapanood natin dito sa Kababayan Today si Matthew John Ignacio na isang cellist. Hello, Matthew. Now you're on my right. Please introduce your beautiful family. Of course. This is my mom, Frances, and my little sister, Hannah. Hello. Hello. Thank you for having us on your show. <laughs> of course. I wanted to get to meet parents, actually, but I understand that yung tatay ni uh, Matthew medyo camera shy. He's very shy. Uh -oh. So he asked me to sit for him. <laughs> okay. So no here. problem. I hope you don't mind, Matthew. You're going to be chopped liver for a while. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I'm going to talk to them about you, if that's okay. Of course. Go ahead. So, Francis, I know that you're from Batangas City. Uh -huh. Right? I'm also from Batangas. My mom is Batangueña. Yes, no, from Batangueña. <laughs> yeah, so you grew up in the, in Batangas. I did. How old were you when you came to America? Um, I was uh, 13. 13 yes. years old. First generation yes. Filipino American. Yes. Okay, so talk to us about Matthew pursuing the cello. How has it been? Because I know he started at a very young age. He did. He started when he was, um, I think you were 9 or 10, right, when you started. Um, and we all thought, you know, another instrument because he first started playing the piano mm -hmm. and then he took up the cello afterwards. Um, but I think he was just so in love with, you know, just how the instrument looked um, and how it sounded that he, you know, had that passion to want to play the instrument. And it, it just came very naturally and um, um, he, just, he just loves playing it. And it, isn't it a big, it's a big instrument, isn't it? It's big. How do, you uh, how do you transport that? You gotta have a big car, don't you? <laughs> we had to get uh, an SUV to try right? and <laughs> fit that big violin in, yes. in the car because he, he plays in so many different venues and stuff, so we had to get a bigger truck to yeah. put it in, basically. Okay, so um, Hannah, talk to us about Kuya. Do you call Kuya Kuya? Well, I used to, but now I'm starting to just call him his name, Matthew. <laughs> really? Is that because he told you to stop calling him Kuya? Or you just said, you know, I'm getting older now, and I think we're both on the same level, so... Well, I think because I'm getting older. <laughs> yes, that's right. Well, you're always going we to be Kuya to Hannah, Kuya. right? <laughs> Do you see your Kuya playing the cello a lot? Yes. Yeah, he practices a lot, huh? I'm sure he's a really good role model. Is there is there a, an instrument that you want to pursue when you get older? Well, I want to learn the violins, but my dad said that I should learn the piano first, then I can learn the violin. Yes, that's some good advice, <laughs> huh? Well, I really want to say that we are so proud of you, Matthew. We will Thank follow you. your career. All the Filipino Americans will support everything you do, and we're so proud of you. Thank you. Yeah, and I just want to say, great job, Mom! Thank you. It's, it's without, you know, struggle. I mean, it's, it's, he's very determined. Uh -huh. He practices a lot. So it's a lot of hard work. Yes, but, but with supportive parents yes. and a sister that always <laughs> cheers for him, he can do no wrong. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much for being on the show. That's about it here on Kababayan Today. So uh, please make sure to follow Matthew John Ignacio. I foresee, because I'm going to be a fortune teller at this time that Matthew John Ignacio is going to have a very bright career ahead of him. So ladies and gentlemen, watch out for him. He's going to go places. That I promise. Matthew John Ignacio, maraming salamat. Thank you, Thank Francis you. and Hannah, for being here on Kababayan today. Thank you.